Hey guys, welcome to this first uh, GeoGebra tutorial. Um, so basically what we're going to do is show you guys how to use the program uh, as well as um, teach you guys a little bit about circles, the basic parts of a circle. So here is the GeoGebra uh, program uh, interface and what we want to do is uh, Firstly, if you right click on the screen, uh, you should be able to see that you can turn the axes on and off um, depending on whether you're planning to draw um, a graph that requires the axes or um, in this case what we're doing today, we actually don't need the axes. So let's turn both the axes and the grid off so it's just a white page. Now let's have a look at the buttons in the toolbar here. And basically uh, these buttons, each one have a, have a special function uh, that you can uh, use in the program. So the first thing we want to do is use the circle button. So click on that and it says circle with center through point. So you're going to click on the button, you're going to click somewhere on the uh, workspace and then as you move the mouse you find that you're able to change the uh, radius of the circle so let's zoom that out a bit create a big circle and click once more and now we have two points we got the center of the circle and we have a point on the circumference now we're gonna go back and click the move button and you'll notice that when we click the move button we can drag the center of the circle around and um, it's changing uh, the position of the circle as well as dragging uh, the circumference point the point on the circumference around changing the size of the circle and you notice that when you drag one point all of the other points remain stationary Okay, and on the left hand side you'll see that in the, um, I guess you can call it the objects uh, listing panel. Um, actually, if you click window, oh, no, no, it's alright. Um, so, basically um, in the objects panel is a list of all your objects. You've got two points, point A, and you've got the coordinates of point A. Um, so if we turn on the axes, um, you'll see that you see what they mean. So basically, it has point A is lying on an x corner of seven and a y corner of point three. So that is where the A point is, and point B is lying on um, well, right now it's lying on x of twelve and y of zero. And here. Um, if you click on the circumference of the circle, you actually get an equation describing um, the circle. So you probably don't need that right now. You probably don't know what it means. Um, that's totally okay. Um, so what we're going to do is um, draw some simple uh, parts of a circle. So let's turn off the turn off the uh, axes again so click left click somewhere on the white space and then right click and choose axes and you turn it off okay the first thing we want to do is click the um, line through two points button but instead of clicking on the button we're gonna click the down arrow that is on the bottom right hand corner and we're gonna choose segment between two points and then we're going to press button, press point A and then press point B and you'll see that we have created a line between point A and point B which is the radius of the circle so we're going to choose the uh, move button um, select the segment A which is our radius right click on it choose object properties and we're going to rename it, change the name, instead of A we're going to call it the radius and we're going to click show label name 
and uh, if you close the properties you'll see that we have have a label for the line radius and you can move the radius around and the label will stay with that line so a radius the radius of a circle is just from the center point to a point on the circumference it can be any point on the circumference okay uh, now what we want to do is uh, create uh, the diameter of the circle what is the diameter so let's uh, create another point on the circumference join up the uh, and then what, we, what we're going to do is click on the reflect object about line and instead of clicking on the top button we're going to choose click on the down arrow and then choose reflect object about point and what we're going to do is click point C we, which we've just created and we're going to reflect it about point A Oops. Select object to reflect. So we're going to click point C and then click point A. And what happens is you can see another point called C dash. And then if you drag point C around, uh, you should be able to see C dash uh, moving with C and uh, just ignore this a dash that's a mistake so you can see that there's two points revolving around each other and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a segment between two points and join up C and C dash and what we have this line is called the diameter of the circle so I'm gonna highlight that segment right click on that choose object properties change it to diameter show label name so here what we have is the diameter of the circle which is from one point to another point on the circumference through the center of the circle right so you can move these points around and basically this what I'm moving right now is the diameter of the circle okay uh, the next thing I want to do is create two points on the circumference and uh, you'll see that um, I'm able to drag these points around on the circumference and this line here um, from one point on the circumference to another point on the circumference it does not have to go through the center of the circle so this line here does not go through the center and this is called a chord so I'm just gonna change it instead of second instead of calling it A I'm gonna call it a chord show the label so this line here is the chord of the circle sorry is a chord in this circle and then um, if I make another point and I'm gonna join up these three um, points so arc through three points one two three this outer section here I'm just gonna make it thicker so you can see it um, make it a bit thicker give it a different color green so this green section here is actually called an arc Show label arc. So, oops, can't really see the label because of the green color. Uh, make it a bit darker. So, red. So, an arc is simply 
a section of the circumference. So right now I have uh, a line between D and E highlighted and basically a section of the circumference is called an arc. Okay, uh, thanks for watching the tu basic tutorial on GeoGebra and uh, as well as a basic tutorial on um, the different parts of a circle. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.